Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Coffee Talk. Last episode was a little bit shorter, so this is the same day of recording for me, but you'll see this on a different day. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go into day four, episode four. And if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative. <gasps> we read about that. Mr. Gala, he heard about a sedative to help make his going through fury easier. Said it has something to do with ginger in a drink. I wonder if he's a part of that. The Orkish Workers Union in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra questioned over their pro-ecoterrorism lyrics. Okay. My hair is stuck in my nipple. I just pulled my hair out. Alright, let's start the day. Oh! Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming. After his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. You're our first uh, you're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our when obviously there's only you here. Oh. I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm. Do you have any blood? <laughs> uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. I mean, I have blood in my body. Like, do you want to bite my arm? <laughs> Come on, did you think I was serious? <laughs> oh, now nah, give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Okay, ginger green tea. Very bitter. That's very bitter. I mean, I could do more green tea or more ginger. Wait. Oh, this one makes it more warm. He wants it very warm. Let me just check the tomato chill. Okay, Georgie, three bars were great. Oh, favorite things, movies, police university, cop story, Robert Cop. <laughs> what I'm doing with my life, a father of three beautiful girls. Aww cute okay so we haven't really unlocked anything with anybody else did we unlock we unlocked that new okay cough syrup that's what we made last time all right brew oh, ginger looks so good i really want some i really want some thai food and i know that i don't think thai food has ginger in it but i really want some thai food right now Okay, serve it. Your drink is ready. Let's see. Good. I'm glad you liked it. By the way, if you don't mind me ask my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work? Yes. For a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. <laughs> I can never imagine myself doing something so... Hmm, what's the word? Something as honorable as that hmm then are you dealing with something i shouldn't ask about i'm not a criminal in case that's what you had in mind i mean it's not an evil job per se but definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital then what is it guess <laughs> you travel a lot more or less you befriended a startup founder it well, isn't he like into Finding out vegan blood, that's what he was telling us. So I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency. Heh. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But you have the looks and the figure, so I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. <laughs> That's so funny. 
because they never age. They always look young, but the skincare doesn't work. <laughs> we are naturally good looking. Skin paler than elves. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears, which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. <laughs> How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Isn't that false advertising? <laughs> don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Wow. That is a long time. Oh, Brea. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer in here. Act like a civilized person, if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. <laughs> hey, you look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Oh wow, that's weird. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay, but I'm stuck and in need of a warm drink. So brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. Oh my gosh, she doesn't want an espresso tonight? I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Oh no. Oh, what do you want? Warm and sweet without coffee. Ooh, that sounds pretty good, like a cough syrup, but... Maybe we can do like a green tea? Or just do like a tea. Warm, sweet without coffee. Uh, tea, honey, ginger? We're gonna do it. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't like it. Honey, ginger tea. A warm, sweet drink ready. Nice. A perfect drink to end a day. That sounds really good. <laughs> Glad you liked it. So you're a writer? Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers, but I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Uh, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So not fantasy or sci-fi? Hmm, I'm still not sure. Probably it'll be normal slice of life. You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. <laughs> Sounds a bit racist. That's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. That's true. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. Yeah. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. <laughs> that doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what-ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. 
and I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Mr. Gala? Maybe I should move my mouse. <laughs> it's in the way. Oh! Miss Lua! Hi, everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I needed an escape from my coworkers, so I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? Oh, Hyde got a message. He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? Oh, what happened? To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. No. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. How do you make a green tea latte? I think we have it on here. Yeah, green tea, milk, milk. Green tea, milk, milk. Brew. Here you go, Lua. Serve it. Wait, I have to do latte art. Okay, I'm gonna redeem myself. I think. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That looks great. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Serve it. I'm proud of myself for that one. Your green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's, has he visited this place again? After our last meeting. Not that I know of. He hasn't. Oh. I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Please don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? awkward. Bailey's is or was I don't know my boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago about what? Oh gosh. Hey, is it okay for him to just ask her like that? You told me. Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a su succubus and he's an elf. Hmm, the usual racial problems, then. Psst, show some manners, old man. <laughs> I like that it's smaller font, <laughs> so I know it's like, gotta intensely whisper. What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's all right. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close, and usually they're supportive, but when it comes to dating an elf... They fear that I'll be treated like a, like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes off from, oh, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times. I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the relationship. You don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we have been for the last 10 years. 10 years. So you've been together for 10 years as a couple. And he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years, that was without fam familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem, then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? I wonder what their babies would look like. Yes. He wants to marry you even if he has to leave his family? Yes. Problem solved, then? Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. 
It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets his decision one day. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. <laughs> Freya right in the middle is just like, ah. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua, did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes. No. Maybe a little bit. We didn't think it would get this far. <laughs> From what I can see, you're the problem here. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him, family approval. If you're asking for racial reconciliation, recon might as well ask for word peace. Ugh, might as well ask for world peace. Man, he's like a jerk right now. Old man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish because I can't do the same for him. Somebody's phone is ringing. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are. Not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No, they always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is the best for you. Pretty simple. I... Oh, I'm sorry. I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away, but thank you for the advice. Take her on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. Hide. You're such a jerk. You are super harsh, old man. <laughs> but you agree with me, don't you? Well, you didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Oh, there he is, Mr. Gala. Good evening, everyone. I'm gonna go uh, get a jacket because I'm just super cold right now. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts, harshly, to someone that needed it, but not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks tell me about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? I mentioned it a couple days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure, should I try mixing the ginger with tea? Yes tea, ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You know, you'll know when you get it right. Oh gosh. Okay, so tea, ginger, and then let me look at this. Tomato chill. Let's see if we unlocked anything. We got three bars with Freya now. Okay. Favorite things. Copy, copy, copy. <laughs> and that's what it is to make an espresso is copy, copy, copy. In case you didn't get it the first time, I'm a big fan of Naiman and Harukami, so there's that. What I'm doing with my life. Working as a journalist because it's the best way to learn how to write better, talk to people who have experienced more than you, and get paid for learning things. Lua, we have three bars now. Okay, and it's in French. My self-summary. Votre homme est un paysage choisi. Kevon, Chamon, Mosquet, et Bergam Mosquet, Juan, Douleur, et Dansant, et Cassie. Triste, Souleur, de Gizmin, Fantastique. 
Uh, if anybody knows French or if anybody wants to translate it, leave it down in the comments below. I'd, I'd like to know. <laughs> Favorite things. Lover of, the my, uh, lover of the bright moonlight. Believer in a life without a fight. I'm a big fan of art and poetry. Okay. What I'm doing with my life. Working 9 to 5 in a trading company by day. Going to poetry readings and museums on the weekends. Entrapped enraptured by the forbidden fruit oh all right got hide and we unlocked a new part for him my self summary part of lost angels agency old enough yet still seeking the truth and purpose of life hmm. cool okay so tea ginger and then milk do you think that would be good let's see Ginger milk tea. Let's let's do some more latte art. You know, I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of confident. I'm not confident anymore. <laughs> what is this? Edge. We gonna make a lotus flower. Yeah. <laughs> totally. ugly. Let's try this one. Thank you, Sophie. Oh, please like it. Hmm. Close, but I don't think this is it. What's missing? Next time, try switching the milk and the ginger. Will do. Thanks. So, tea, milk, and then ginger. Okay, now I'm ready for the story. Tea, milk, and ginger. I'm gonna write this down. Okay, I got sticky notes in this. <laughs> Cause yes. And a pan. We'll do a jelly roll. Okay, so gala. Fury. Oh no. It's going out. We're going with the cheap old pen. That's good. So tea, milk, ginger. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself that it was, it was close. change do you oh. oh both of you are going to judge me for being honest now dude honestly is dude honesty is good and all but you know try not to be a dick I mean honestly listen to her Hyde she's got a good point Ugh. not you too I was a bit surprised though usually you don't bother with this kind of thing I've seen you actively avoid it you do know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic, judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right, but there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough to fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was something indeed. He said something about being my friend for years. 
Yes. Why? Do you ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Forget it. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Sophie. Thanks for the evening. The pleasure was mine. Bye. Uh oh. Does he like you? What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gallant. Care for another drink to end the day? <laughs> sure. Okay, so we'll make the same... Oh, wait, never mind. Ooh, Spice Lady. A British chocolate drink extremely popular in the 90s. Okay, cool. So we unlocked a new drink, and that ends another day. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Again, if you want to see me play a certain game, definitely leave it in the comments below, and I'll check it out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!